Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, we're going to be going back to the Malignant Playcaster, and we're going to be doing some more stuff on it. So remember in the last video, we were doing these lovely distressed fabrics, but, and I literally just finished filming that a few minutes ago, and I've just got the, the next step that we're going to be doing on this model, base coated. So, let's get into today's video. The paints we're going to be using are going to be maybe Retribute Armour. I don't know. I, 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 I I'd like to get that in there somewhere along the lines. Um, Reichland Flesh Shade. And we're going to be um, finishing off with Leather Belcher. And then, well, actually, no, not finishing off Leather Belcher because I'm going to have. Final touches in some areas with a bit of non oil. So, retribute armor. You mainly see this on Space Marines and Imperial models. But we're going to be doing on a Death Guard model. Now, you're probably thinking, Leo, why the hell are you doing that? It's a stupid idea. Well, that's why I was convincing myself before I started filming this video. I've changed my mind. Did it on a photo bloat drone. Do it on a malignant playcaster. Just add it. Adding gold on here. Just as an edge highlight. Oh, this is actually looking really good. Beautiful. Also, try and get these little gemstones here as well. One here. There we go. So, if I just show you what I've done, because it might not come out on camera from the distance. So, if I just zoom in a bit. Let's focus. One. Come on, focus. You know, I'm not going to zoom out and then show you. So, I've just added in a few areas, as you can see, added in the Retribute armor. And then in other areas, I've left it with the Balthazar gold, which is why I've originally started off with, I didn't mention. You could also start off with Warplock bronze as well. But I think Balfour Gold just works a little bit better. Because you have to go over with a lot more layers if you use wall block bronze. For a half as good as effect, I think. See, so yeah, that's what I've done. Now the camera's starting to finally focus. So the next, I hope I just zoom in. Just leave it a bit zoomed in. There we go. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is we're going to go over the bit of Franklin Flesh Shade. Now I haven't left this too long to dry, and the reason that is is so I can, if it just mix in a little bit, and get a bit of best of both with everything. Bit of. Right, on flesh shade. Because normally I tell you to leave it to completely dry in Warhammer TV tutorials. It used to be called Warhammer TV, now it's just called Warhammer. And try and get all of it soaked up in this lovely shade. It's one of my favourite shades, I think. And then you'll just use the excess to go underneath the shoulder pads if you haven't painted them like me. That just adds. Don't know how well that comes. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that's just realised on the camera how terrible this is looking out. So I've just, with all the excess paint that was on the brush, I've just gone underneath the shoulder pads. And I think that's, that looks a lot brighter now. That looks it's a bit nicer. That's the effects you can get with this. Now, as I said, I had just finished filming the, um, the previous video, but there's going to be a few days in between, just to space out. Mm. Although, if you are a member of the newsletter, you can get some. Of the, you might be able to get some of these videos early, so you can join the newsletter. Links to the channel website. You can go at the bottom of the page. It's down below. In the description. It's the bit.ly slash the official train. In the last newsletter, showing you how to make the ancient, ancient stones, you would have got that a few days before it went on YouTube, and you get a more detailed tutorial as well. So yeah, that's basically all of the bronze on here. And yeah, that's we're pretty much done for the video. So if you enjoyed this video, do like and subscribe. Check out the videos on the channel. Uh, and join the newsletter, as I said. Also, if you do. I'm not going to be showing you how to paint the um, armour on this, but if you want to know how you do it, I think there's a Plague Marine video. But it's basically military green and then dry brush with open camo. Simple thing. But we're going over more com the more complex small areas with this. You can add really lots of detail. So, yeah, check out the other videos on the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.